Windows 10 includes OneDrive, and Microsoft's official product it tells you that you can't disable it. Well, that's not true. There are several ways to disable OneDrive and remove it from File Explorer in Windows 10. Microsoft provides a group policy settings that can disable OneDrive on professional editions of Windows 10s. Windows 10 home users can use a simple trick using a regular sheet hack to get rid of the OneDrive also. I'll show you how to do this right after this. Now this simple method right here is for users that are just using um, Windows 10 Home and they just want to get rid of OneDrive without stripping it completely out of the operating system. It's completely reversible and never ever want to use OneDrive again. Now to do this all you have to do is just first go to the hidden icons if it's there and you'll right click on OneDrive and select settings. You will then uncheck the start. OneDrive automatically when I sign in to Windows. If you don't plan on using OneDrive, you may also want to click the, or tap actually, the unlink OneDrive button there. This will stop the OneDrive from syncing into your setup again. It will be granted out and if you haven't yet set up OneDrive. Now, if you just need to remove OneDrive option located on the navigation panel of the File Explorer window, this requires a simply quick registry hack for the home users. I'm going to go ahead and give you the link where you can download it, and you should have both of them for 32 and 60-bit versions of Windows 10. But to make this easier, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it through registry. Go ahead and go to Start, or to the search bar, and go ahead and type in reg edit. Go ahead and select it. You will be prompted and go ahead and press yes. Next you will go to H key classes root. Next you'll scroll down until you see CLSID. Next, you'll see this list right here because I don't feel like telling you the whole thing. So you'll see it in the list on this video. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to it. And where it says system is pinned, and I'm going to go ahead and expand to the name space tree. You're going to go ahead and change this to zero. On 64-bit, you have to go to the exact same way to classes root, but you have to add an additional one for this to make it fully work. You'll need to go to H key classes root. I'm gonna go back to that same place. And you'll select WOW 6432 not. And you'll scroll down where it says CLSID. And again, you'll need to look down until you find basically the starting points of 018. and there's the 018D. You'll go ahead and change the same thing also and change it to zero. And there you have it. If you want to undo this, you'll go the exact same way. I'm gonna go ahead and show you because I'm gonna show you also how to do this in group policy way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back to one. Now I'm going to go back to the same place I was using on the other one. And now I'm going to go ahead and X this out. Now for the users that have like Windows 10 Professional, Enterprise, or Education, um, you can do this a lot very simple um, by just opening up Group Policy editor. Um, first you're going to go ahead and go to search and you're going to type in 
um, group. And on the top it says edit group policy. Go ahead and select it. I'm going to go ahead and expand that for you. You'll then go to local computer policy. You're already there. And you'll select the computer configurations. I'm going to go ahead and move this across so you can see this a little bit better. Next you'll go to administrative templates. And you'll go to Windows components. And scroll down and TC OneDrive. And right here it says prevent the usage of OneDrive for file storage. Go ahead and click it and press enable and press apply. This completely disables access to OneDrive. OneDrive will be hidden from File Explorer and users won't be allowed to launch it. You won't even be able to even be from within Windows Store apps or use like the camera roll or upload features. To undo this change, all you have to do is follow the reverse steps. So I'm going to go ahead and change it back again to show you. And you'll select not configured. Go ahead and press apply and OK. So thank you for watching Helton's Computer Repair. And I'll see you on our next video.